It all comes down to this, the top 10 football plays of the year. I'm Steve Montoya. That is Chris Stonebreaker. Yes, and these were voted on by Max Prep staff right. and all of you out there that voted each and every time we put up a plays of the year category. So thank you for that. And Steve, this is one of the best videos I think I've ever yeah. seen. I'll challenge college or pros <laughs> to these top 10. We're going to show them right here. These are in order from 10 to 1. Let's do it. The top 10 plays of the year. All right, Chris, you ready for this? Because I sure am. We're going to start it off in Kentucky. This name may ring a bell. It's Bo Hodge. Watch him up top here. He comes back on your screen, and he is just going to make people miss. Get off me here. He doesn't even get touched barely. And then finally, Chris, after just juking off about three or four, five more guys, he finds the end zone there. Even a little snow there in Kentucky. This is in a playoff game. That same week, he committed to B. Why you? They're going to love him up there. If he can make plays like that, watch out for Bo Hodge. You know his dad will be watching him on Saturdays at, like he was on Friday. Chris, you have more on mm -hmm. that. Now, you know Bo's dad is Merrill Hodge, and he works for ESPN, who lost a great broadcaster yesterday. This calls for Stuart Scott. Play number nine comes to us by way of Louisiana Central High. Three-star Miami commit, 6'3", 180-pound wide receiver. Terrell Chapman is as cool as the other side of the pillow. Hauling in this one-handed catch in the corner of the end zone past two defenders. Booyah! That's what I'm saying, All Stu. Right, hey, we're going to booyah here in Illinois because it's Austin Faye. Chris, remember this video when we posted had about 300,000 plus views? There's a good reason for that because you've got to watch Mr. Faye just say, get off me to all these guys. You think there's no way he can get out of this. Well, he does. He gets it all the way down to the five yard line. I guess the only blemish, if you can even consider it that, is that he didn't score. But Chris, you and I, and about 99.9% .9 of the population, would have been down right there four or five tackles to go. Yeah. Not the case for Austin Fay. Maybe one of the best 43 yard putt returns you will ever see. That was in the state of Illinois. Now, number seven, and welcome to Miami. Or Sing how about Mount Dora in Florida, where linebacker Willie Smith provided the 2014 football season when what, with one of the most memorable defensive plays of the year. First of all, his name is Willie Smith. Secondly, he takes the ball from the QB's hands like a running back the opposite way for six. Big Willie style. Now, look at Willie Smith right here. Getting jiggy with it. Willie Smith, na, 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 na. Get in that end zone. You just dream of that situation if you're a defensive <laughs> lineman. Markel Vaughn says, Austin Faye, you did your thing. You are the man, but I'm going to one-up you. And the reason I say that is because I'm going to take this one to the end zone after shedding off about six or seven guys. Not only did he shed off, of, they're on top of him. They're pulling him down. Look at the guys on the sideline. They're, they don't even think he's going to score. Then all of a sudden, he breaks free. Then Markel Vaughn, he's not done yet. And the blockers, Chris, you gotta love the blockers. They're still keeping up with Vaughn. None of these plays them. happen without the blockers. Yes. And none of them have happened either without great block shedding as well and just tackle shedding. Look at all these tackles that he just breaks through. I don't know how he did it. Right there, again, these are plays that are just amazing at any level. To see him here at the prep level, Mr. Vaughn, Omaha North in Nebraska, Chris, doing his thing. That's 77 yards back to the house. Gotta love that. That is play number what six. What it would be to be young again. Now, this entire top play segment is about reminiscing and how great is it to see social media working, Steve? Yeah, it works beautifully. Yeah, this play was sent to us using the hashtag MP top play tidy wide receiver. Carson McCoy lays out completely horizontal and pulls in the halfback toss from Wyatt Trahan with one hand. It's winner, but that is why I show you this because it brings us all the way back to summer, summer, summer time and jumping into the pool and catching those laid out passes from your buddies off the diving board. Now, this catch gave Wyatt a TD pass and got Carson the top five play of the year. All right, play number 10 and play number five are a catch. Play number four is a catch. Sam Wisniewski in the state of Wisconsin. He said he lost it for about a second, then he caught it. 
and he realized I'm still inbound, so I need to go. We ended up talking to Sam about this catch. He was the hero, the celebrity mm -hmm. of the school for good reasons because of that catch right there. The fact he kept his feet in, the way he scores. I know some people think some catches are better. That one's pretty good, play number four. State championship game, senior year, and you want to make a memory? You want to leave everyone in the arena and all your teammates with something they will talk about for years. A state championship will make them happy. Well, what about capping it off with the number three play of the year? Bothell and Washington's quarterback Ross Bowers, who will be headed to Cal next year, sets sail from the two-yard line, fully selling his body, hits two defenders that in turn flip him around like a helicopter. But that is not what makes this play the number three play. It's that he does the helicopter and he lands it for a TD and then goes off into the corner and celebrates a state championship with his teammates. One of the most memorable endings you will ever see this year or in the future is this one in Kentucky. Owensboro High School somehow pulls off the miracle for the playoff win, Chris. On one end, such a heart-wrenching loss. On the other side, a miracle. <laughs> Bat it, it down. But Chris, we're gonna see the next angle coming up here from the sideline version of it. And it, you can really see just how this play really happens. And it's just amazing. Tip, 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 catch, and score. It, it, I'm getting the goosebumps watching this. You're hard, it's hard to describe. Can you imagine being there and witnessing that? I couldn't, but I got to see it here. So the number one play of the year, the top dog as voted on by the Max Prep staff and you, the fans, Washita. Christian in Louisiana's Garen Challenge. Sure, he picks off Central Catholic's QB, which has been seen before, but what would this play actually be the number one no. play of the year for just a pick six? No way. Garen takes it 41 yards back to the house, with the best part of the play being how he knocked that front door to the house down, flipping with a twist and sticking the landing. My call does not do it justice. Just watch that. Soak it up. And that is the number one play of the 2014 high school football season. What a play hey, there. Mm -hmm. After thousands of games, hundreds of highlights yeah. of top plays, those yeah. are the top 10. And it was so hard to get to even that. Yeah, we took in highlights from 16,000 teams that played each and every week. And we just gave you the top 10 plays from a whole 16, 17 week season. So. Uh, Pretty impressive right there. It is. I, I already am looking forward to 2015 to oh, see yeah. what we got in store. But that right there are your top 10 plays of 2014. That's Chris Stonebreaker. I am Steve Montoy, and this is MaxPreps.com.